Porsche founder of Bifro. And today we're actually gonna go and meet a great guy. He's one of the youngest art gallerists um, in LA. So let's go meet him. Um, so yeah, there's just a couple of questions that I want to ask you. Uh, since you're one of the youngest art gallerists, probably in LA that I know of, um, do you want to like tell us a little bit behind the story, like what is happening, like how you came up with the idea, how you got into the art? Yeah, for sure. Well, you know, this space is a relatively newer space. We uh, opened up here in 2014. And when I initially opened up this space, it was going to be a studio gallery. Uh, so this kind of started with me being an artist and kind of having the understanding that I needed a space to show my work. And as I kind of started to show my work, all my friends who were in the creative space saw my space and said, hey, can we potentially show with you? And that's kind of how the gallery came to be. For the last Five years we've been practically here doing shows for various artists, cool. showing some of my work but mainly focuses on new and emerging and kind of new artists that yeah. we kind of discover that we lend this space to. Cool. Like for instance, right over here we have uh, Robert Tannenbaum, uh, who we started working with uh, this year. Yeah, it's very interesting how he kind of like combines like people of modern time and then he has like a lot of art that actually, you know, kind of refers to all the greatest. I'm going to give you guys some tips to uh, navigate the art world. One of the things I think for artists that is most important is to organize your work, meaning document it, take a good photo of it, have the information on the back of the work. So when you are to drop off the work, the gallery or manager or whoever is going to be handling the work could see what it is, meaning have the size, have the medium, as much information as possible. So I know that another thing that you're doing is actually you take new artists and you showcase their work, at, like you make this curated kind of work in restaurants and hotels and all of that. Yeah, so transforming hospitality spaces. So one of the things that was kind of pivotal when I opened up this space is um, I wanted to drive in traffic, so I wanted to work with local businesses that local established businesses that have potentially wall real estate and kind of take care of their needs in terms of creating a more exciting environment. Uh, these kind of areas that get people and we look at their art, their walls, kind of like a gallery. Yeah. Um, and that allows people to just it, it allows the artist to kind of expose their work and yeah. instead of it collecting dust in their studio, it's yeah, being shot to the wall. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, there for purchase as well. So that's kind of nice when someone sees a work, whether at a restaurant or at a hotel, they have the option right there to call and get some more information about the artist or just the piece itself. Okay, another question that I I was waiting for this moment I wanted to ask you about. I actually saw you on the episode of the Keep It Up with the Productions. I wanted to find out specifically how much some um, pieces of art are worth that I have. Here, have right a seat. We'll, we'll, right. we'll prop. Let's just see the work. You don't need gloves for these pieces. No? <laughs> no, no, no. You're going to want to touch these items. <laughs> all right. The only hands that have touched these are pretty similar to God's. Wow, all right. Yeah, look at that. All right. So Let me know how rich I am. Uh... <laughs> Well, you know, just because you attach a name to it doesn't mean uh, it's going to be worth a lot. Yeah. And I actually thought, I mean, they were pretty... Uh, I, you know, I, I rarely say this about abstracts, yeah. but this one, this one's, uh, yeah, this one, I am not sure what that is. Uh, this artist is very talented at making uh, distasteful paintings. Okay, that's hurtful because I'm close with her. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. One of the things to be kind of weary in this business is there's a lot of, there's a lot of rejections or no's and you gotta really be able to 
to roll with it and 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 you got to be driven no one's going to tell you when to do it uh you really got to you're your own boss in that sense uh being an artist is waking up and telling yourself you have to create it shouldn't have to be forced but you should be excited enough to want to do that so if if you don't see yourself every day living, breathing art, making art, I would I'd strong, I'd strongly discourage getting into this business because you, you won't get far because there's a lot of people who are doing it. They're living and breathing it. And that's your competition. Life is a competition. We're all, we're all racing our own race, of course.